we are going to be drawing some 3D gems and jewels. Starting with a ruby, we are going to be drawing a guideline down the center, so keep it light, and this is going to be a vertical line in the center of our gem. At the top, we are going to draw two short diagonal lines, pointed like an arrow, and we're going to do the same thing at the bottom, but like an arrow pointing down. to connect these two lines together from the top to the bottom and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now inside of the shape we're going to echo the same arrow shape here by doing a smaller one inside making sure it crosses through the center line. shape we're going to do two vertical lines that connect those arrows and then we're going to erase the line that goes through the center of this smaller hexagon now I'm going to keep these two short lines here and add a few more so connecting from corner to corner I'm going to add each short line that will create the dimensions or planes of this shape. This is what makes it look 3D. Next, when I'm ready to color, I'm going to use several different shades of red. Starting with my lightest, which is actually a coral pink, I'm going to be shading the front with the lightest color, which would be the center. Then, notice I'm using the darker reds diagonally across from each other. I'm doing both a lighter red and a darker red diagonal from each other. Now I'm doing my truest red on both opposite sides. Once I have all my red values down, I'm going to make it look like it's shining by using a white paint pen. Just adding a few white highlights here and there, and a little sparkle, I've added some shine to my ruby. Next, I am going to be drawing a diamond. To start my diamond shape, I'm going to start with a large V shape. I've drawn my first diagonal line and want to make sure that I line my second one up about the same length. Then I'm going to connect from the top of both of those lines to create a triangle. On top of each corner, I'm going to draw a short diagonal line that angles inward. And then I'm going to connect both of those two with a horizontal line. Next, I'm going to draw some lines inside and I'm going to mark two points that'll connect down to this bottom point. So starting from one edge all the way to the bottom point and adding my second line. For the top, I'm actually going to create a zigzag line. So starting from this top corner down to this line, then marking my center, I'm going to connect from that point to the center. From the center down to this line. And from that point up to the last corner. Notice how I've created a W shape. For my colors, I've gathered some blue-green shades. Starting in the center with my lightest blue value, I have my lightest shade. On each side, I'm going to go darker, adding a medium blue to my left side and a darker blue to the right side. On the top two edges, I'm going to stick with some light to medium blues and blue greens and keep my lightest shades for the top two triangles.
By altering light and dark shades, this creates dimension and makes my diamond look 3D. To add some shine and sparkle, I'm using my white paint pen to add some highlights Next, I'm going to draw a long crystal. So starting at the top of my page, I'm going to draw the top of a triangle or a wide letter A. Following down the center, I'm going to mark all the way down where the bottom will be from the center of that top arrow and connect both edges of my triangle down to the point to create a crystal shape. draw a square shaped emerald. Starting off drawing a square shape to try to make each of my edges an even length. Next, I'll draw a small diagonal line in each corner. Then, I'll erase each of the corners. Now I have rounded corners. Inside of this shape, I'm going to be drawing another smaller square. Making sure to leave some room and keeping it even, I'll sketch a smaller square. Notice I've kept about the same width on each of the edges. Next, I'm going to take each corner and connect it to the two points of my rounded corners. One, two diagonal lines. I'll repeat the same thing for each of the other corners. white paint pen, I'm adding some highlights.
And there we have our 3D gems and jewels. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.